locker room at the New Mexico Tech Gym with my guest, Richard Montano. Richard, thanks for taking the time for the interview, man. No now, I know you're coming off a, you've been on a, what, a two-year hiatus, one-year hiatus? Two, almost two years. Almost two full years. And you came back and you recently fought Jacob Clark at a King of the Cage in Colorado. That fight went to the decision, and he's a, he's a heavy-duty opponent. I saw that fight went to the ground, he just couldn't submit you, he couldn't choke you out, you have got a breathing hole on the top of your head, uh, to, and then you went to King of the Cage of Riedoso the next week, and who did you fight? Uh, J.R. Sotelo. J.R. Sotelo, and how did that fight go? We went the distance. So you went two fights, two weekends, both three round decisions, mm -hmm. and you won both decisions. Yeah. So you're coming off of two, three round wins, both off a decision, how does that make you feel, man? Real good. How do you feel working up to this fight next this weekend, this Saturday? I feel real good. We've been working real hard on ground, stand up, anything like take down. The still gonna try taking me down. I know how to defend. If he ends up taking me down, I know how to reverse and get out, of, get in a different, better position. So you've been working on your BJJ or Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, though. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Uh, so when you when you fight Abel, are you looking to knock him out, or are you looking to go to the ground and show him your new BJJ no, your new skills? Looking to stand up. Oh, really? You still want it to stand? You want to stand and bang? Yeah. Now, when you fought Jacob Clark, I remember asking you before the fight that you were known for your cardio, and I said, you know, where's your cardio going to be at after a two-year layoff? And you said, my cardio is going to be better. And that fight, you really did show it. Tell me some of the things that you're doing to work on your cardio and to keep your cardio. Uh, we do all kinds of different stuff. We, whenever we roll, we do. Um, we only get 15 second breaks. We um, work out, work out, work out. Get a 15 second break. Work out for another three minutes. Get another 15 second break. Go for another three minutes. We go for like maybe 12 rounds of three minutes and get a 15 second break. Really? So you train for 12 rounds with 15 second breaks, and that's it between. Yeah. Who do you train with? Uh, a guy named uh, Joe. Joe, Joe Partridge. And those guys are the Soko Loco guys? Or yeah. Or am I mistaken? Okay, so Team, team Soko. Soko. Okay, right on. And now I noticed you're sporting the Full Tilt Poker.net and the Cage Fight of Street Gear, as well as the Cold Forged uh, shorts. That's ColdForgedUSA.com. Uh, do you have anything you'd like to say to your sponsors? Thanks for sponsoring me. It, the house always seems like you guys are being real generous right now. I'm in the hard spot. Anything helps. Right, right. No, and we really appreciate the Cold Forge threads. The shirt looks tight. Oh, yeah, I really appreciate it. Nice. Yeah. That should really, you know, put you in the eye of some really, of some big time organizations. And, you know, do you hope to have that propel your career further? Yeah. I really do. I really hope maybe WEC or someone will call me just to go up more in the rankings. That's pretty much it. Anything you want to say to anybody out there on the internet? Anybody that's ready to watch me fight, we're going to bang. Go watch an exciting show. Do you think that, that joining this Team Soko Loco or working out with Team Soko Loco, is that something that propelled you up, moved you up? Yeah, it helped me a lot. I got my cardio better, got my ground better, and then just overall performance, just to, my energy is way up there now. Okay. Is there anything that you want to say straight up right there, Abel? Abel, bring it. You know, whatever you want to do, stand up, ground, I'm ready for it. Right, and I know you guys have known each other for quite a while, like four or five years by now. He's one of the first people, you both fought each other at the beginning of your career, and so it's really interesting to see both our back and fight each other. Richard Montano, thank you very much, man. Good luck.